All right, voiceover like take number five or six, I don't know. All right, we're gonna check out Bases Loaded Lacquer today. Ignore this one because you can't even get that. And I don't know why I'm showing it other than I'm gonna be using it for today's water marble. But we are gonna be checking out these three, the first three of the, I believe six, Rookies of the Month. And you've seen this one several times on me already. And you've also seen, no, you haven't seen this one. Apologize to no one. This is a new one. This one, Evan Gaddis used to be a janitor. I know you've seen that several times on me already. And I love it, it's gorgeous. So let's start with Posey was out. This is like, Tara describes it as a disco ball in a bottle and it is so pretty and it looks very translucent here, but it does build up very opaque and very nice in uh, two to three coats, depending on how thick. Um, I tend to go a little thinner with these kind of polishes because I really want a lot of the glitter, the big fat flaky glitter and it has silver and holographic glitters all in it. You can see it's beautiful. A couple of swatch pictures for you. I also put it over silver and it was beautiful, but this was just by itself. Gorgeous. This one, um, I've already shown you this several times, but I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it for you. This is June's Rookie of the Month. Rookie of the Months are available like beyond that month, but you can get a discount code to purchase them from the uh, Bases Loaded Lacquer Bleacher Creature Facebook group. Blah, 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 blah. And um, you can get that like the first of the month and then she takes it off. So you have to be in the group to get the discount. But this one is so full of holographic glitter and flaky, hull, like, like, I don't know moonbeam shifting you can see there it's so pretty it looks fabulous with um may's rookie of the month that one is june oh yeah see i did that last week i ha i wear this polish all the time this one is apologize to absolutely no one i love that name but i'm going to use that and the purple which is um, Arizona Fall League. This is from the Fall League collection that uh, ended up being a big bust because she couldn't get the pigments and she screwed up the pigments. We won't discuss that, Tara, okay? It's okay. So I did put a little bit of that um, Posey Was Out over that purple just to see what it looked like. I was just playing. All right, got the water marble out. Got my sponge soaked in acetone and my stabby stabby thing all ready. That's just what I clean with. I don't like these sponges for this because they're too dense. As you can see, I didn't clean it from the last time I did a water marble. But I just use that to clean the needle off every time. All right, here's another thing I was going to show you guys last time. I didn't. I ran out of time. This is the Creative Shop Stamper that came with my Manny of the Month box from Lantern and Wren. And I'm going to show you one another re why, reason why I really love that stamper. All right, I'm just uh, jiggling that polish, that first drip around to make it stick to the sides. You just want it, I just don't like it floating around. You can do designs with it floating around, but I make a mess and I don't like it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and alternate these and make a bullseye. And if your polish doesn't spread like this in water, this is just room temperature water. It's not anything special. You can use tap, you can use bottled. Just keep your your polish and your water in the same room so that they're the same temperature. I don't think any temperature really affects water marble unless it's like really, really humid. You don't have air conditioning, I don't know. But I don't have any problems with it ever. People say a fan, don't use a fan, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> uh, 
a fan is gonna like hinder you a little bit, dry your polish faster, but this stuff stays wet for so long. I'm just going to do a flower petal. You can stop there. You can keep going. I'm gonna just keep going till I'm just being super extra and no reason to go anymore. I'm just trying to show you how long this stuff stays wet in the water. Um, make sure, you're going to see in just a minute, but make sure that that needle or toothpick or whatever you're using is penetrating all the way through the polish into the water because if you don't, you're going to end up with a muddy mess on the other side and that's where you're going to be dipping. Uh, so I was going to do this, I just didn't like it. Um, it was okay, but I thought, eh, I don't really want that. So. I do swirls all the time. So I just went ahead and just pushed it down a little farther, pushed it down in the middle, wiped off my needle, and just decided to go ahead and make some more lines and make those flower petals super close together. And that's another reason I like to use, um, this is a hat pin. I like to use these because I can get all the way through the polish and into the water and have a perfect clear image on the other side. So if I was dipping my finger in there, the part of the image that would show on my finger when I pulled it up would be the back side of this image right here that you're looking at, it would be the underneath side where it's touching the water. And it would be a muddy mess if I wasn't going all the way through the polish into the water and I was just dragging it on top. All right, so I'm gonna take the Creative Shop stamper that I have cleaned on a lint roller really well so that there's no dust on it. And it's completely dry. I'm blowing on that water just a little bit over the top of it to dry that polish a little so I don't end up with like air bubbles. And then I'm just going to kind of roll it on like you would a stamp. And there you see, that is the underneath. And it's perfectly clear. It's not muddy or muddled whatsoever. Good job, Kylie. Pat myself on the back. All right, I'm going to do another one. This one I'm going to actually put on my fingers. We're going to save that, that uh, decal to show you how to put that on. But go ahead, same thing, uh, another bullseye pattern. And you can see that polish go out and then kind of shrink just a little bit back in. That's why. I, that's how you know it's time to put another drop in if you're going to. You want that to spread all the way out so that the colors are absolutely distinctively separate. Again, going all the way through. Oh, yeah. Oh, I had too much um, acetone on my needle. And so when I dip back in, it kind of pulled that polish, like broke the surface. So I had way too much acetone on my sponge there. So now I'm kind of at a loss what to do. So I decided to do just like a little swirly so that it kind of looked like a feather. I'm just essentially playing. I mean, you don't have to do any certain perfect, you know, design. But I decided I'd like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and dip my finger. And you want to kind of push your finger through it, not just like try to stick it straight down. You want to just like start with the tip of your nail and just kind of push into the water and clear off the top of the water. I do have liquid latex on. Of course, what a disaster. I have dipped before without doing that because um, I forgot. I know, I, I mean, you know, I just got an image that I really liked and I didn't have any liquid latex on. It's like, oh, I want that on my finger. 
All right, go ahead immediately while it's still wet, um, kind of score around it, around your cuticle so that you don't have um, issue with it sticking. And then peel that liquid latex right off while, you, while it's still wet, don't let it dry. And then again, clean it off immediately. Dip a little brush. This is um, a Lantern Wren cleanup brush. Love this brush. And dip it in some acetone and then dab it off on, I have too much, dab it off on a paper towel or something and make just one swipe at a time. You don't want to swipe and swipe like I'm kind of doing right there because I'm actually getting that polish back on my nail, back like into my cuticle. And you just want to clean that up. Oh, look, you still got some on your finger there, Guileen. All right, back to the decal. So those I went ahead and topped with just a little bit of one of the bingo toppers. And I think that that was a drink. She's got several bingo toppers. They're so cool. They're like different shades. And I had several, but I gave one away. All right, make sure that your fingernail is wet or, you know, a little bit. I, I'm using some Sticky Sweet face coat from um, Purple Willow Apothecary. And then the stamp itself or the image itself, the decal, I've painted with Wet n Wild Nail Protector. Um, this thing dried overnight and I'm just putting some of this on there to soften it up a little bit to make it more pliable. And then I'm not sure what side I'm gonna use, if I'm gonna use this side or the other side because they will be slightly different. Oh, I forgot, I do have a discount code if you spend $25 and it's just Guiling325, so that's down below. All right, that's dried for about mm, 10, 15 minutes, so it's, it's soft, but it's completely dry. And that technically is top coated once already, so I don't have to worry so much if I use that side about smearing this darker color. But there's my decal. I have actually shipped these to other people. I took them to Michigan. I did some decals and put them on Nana and Tara. So you absolutely, and I have left decals that I've done water marble on, on a stamper for months on my desk. Freshened them up with a little uh, wet and wild nail protector and then put them on my nails. So you absolutely can do that. You can store these in Ziploc baggies, make several up and store them. Send them to friends, sell them to friends. Maybe that's what I should do, sell water marbles. Anybody interested? All right, so I once again, I put the sticky base coat on my nail so that that's stuck. And by doing that, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm committed. <laughs> when you set that down on there, you're committed, you can't pull that back off. Um, I did get it a little off, but my nails are so weird. They're so curved and so weird. Sometimes it's, it's hard, but anyway. I'm going to take a cuticle pusher and just kind of score around it. And you can stretch it. This is very pliable, so I can stretch it a little bit because I had this one spot over here that was still, you could see the white through. And with some little cuticle nippers or just use your cleanup brush, I'm going to trim off the excess around where I scored it. Make sure you go a little past because just in case you got some curvy nails, you don't have to worry about, you know, having naked spots. Here's the cleanup brush, the Lantern and Wren one I love so much. I need to get on there and see if I can order another one. All right, I'm going to take a little bit of acetone and dab, dab, and clean up the rest of it. And that's also sealing that down around the edges of my nail. And I'm sorry, I hope that you can hear me because my earbuds died on me. 
Usually that's the best way to do a voiceover, but one of them died on me. And, you know, I don't care. It's wrapped around the, the tip. I don't care that I've got some, you know, polished looking decal underneath. And I'm going to do the same on the other finger. And I decided I kind of wanted, I thought about doing these, I don't know, coming out of the base of my nail, but I decided I kind of wanted it to just look like, sort of like a butterfly. I thought that was really cool. And pressing it down all over. You can also use a stamper to do that, to just like push it down evenly over your nail. And then using that sticky base coat helped adhere, you know, throughout the nail. I've wore these, I still have them on now, and I did this video, let's see, this is Saturday. I did this video on Wednesday, and I went to the, as you can see in a few minutes, I went to the aquarium with the baby. And I've you I've wore these for several days. I I have to take it off now because I'm getting ready to do another video. But again, I'm just sealing down all those edges with acetone and a cleanup brush. And I yes, I did get video of the baby in the aquarium. I did use, like I said, a little bit of the bingo topper on my pinky and index finger, and also on the water marble on my other hand. And I have a Glisten and Glow Quick Dry Top Coat, and you want to pile that crap on. Load it up. I don't care if it's bleeding down into your cuticles, whatever. You just go back in and clean it up again off of your, around the edges of your fingers. But you definitely want a big, thick glob of that and glide it over so you're not smearing and it's really sealed in there. And yes, I made a mess, but you know, back with the cleanup. All right, you guys, thanks so much for joining me. Please follow the links down below to go uh, check out Bases Loaded Lacquer and the Facebook group. Please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Bye. Goodness, that's a big fish. That's a grouper. I guess the sharks would eat these.
Oh my goodness! How cool are those? They are a nightmare. He's okay. Uh, oh. oh, those are cool. Like these jellyfish? Look at him, Lucas. Boogie boogie boo. Boogie boogie boo. Boogie boogie boo. Boogie boogie boo. Boogie boogie boo.